We'll have today another review video, Lida In, it's a world champion last year in Bogota at the 81 category. So let's see first time doing this uh, no fit style, a bit modified Chinese style and uh, we will break here a bit. Da Yin, it's uh, preferring a bit uh, higher start position. It's uh, not very usual for Chinese lifter because they are preferring all the time to have uh, hips lower, chest more open, shoulders right uh, above the barbell or even a bit behind. And uh, we can see that here, Da Yin, it's uh, adopting a higher start position. This uh, start position is uh, common at the uh, European style where the athletes are very powerful. Start position is very good. It's uh, using well the legs here. We can see that uh, because uh, he's adopting this uh, higher start position with hips, we can see that here when barbell is lifting from the ground, his hips and chest are raising up in the same time. That is very good. It's a sign that here Dain is using very well his legs. Who grip it's uh, very well as well it's remaining good with arms when barbell it's passing here the knees we can see that it's losing a bit balance on his uh, right leg and it's a bit more on tiptoes but that one could be because uh, it's uh, searching to be in a good balance and he can go a bit uh, the foot in front and back it's uh, quite normal especially at uh, heavier lifts so we can see this one at uh, many athletes that are performing these amazing weights. Knees are going here a bit in the sides when barbell is passing his knees. This could be because uh, he wants to keep the barbell as close as possible and uh, you need to do a bit with knees in the sides. Also here when you are above parallel the hips are in external rotation and it's easier to have the knees in the sides. Here it's uh, very bad if you are passing the barbell here and your knees are going in. That is a sign that you not use properly the legs and probably your pelvis is a bit weaker. Barbell very close here at second pull, very common for Chinese. Almost the barbell is looking like it's glued. Of its tights here, he's using hip contact. It's fully extended here. This is a bit normal because when you are adopting this style or no feet or no foot without uh, jumping, without stomping your feet into the ground. It's uh, forcing you to fully extend, especially at these uh, higher weights, in order to be able to change your direction under barbell. But uh, we can see here that uh, his balance is at limit and uh, because here it's uh, extending too much back and his shoulders are too much behind the barbell, is uh, jumping a bit back as well. Here, like I said, balance is at limit, but because the weight is heavy and it's uh, catching this weight below parallel, so this means that his hips are below his knees. As I'm referring at uh, below parallel, he's in the good balance here. We can see that uh, for this weight, for this 175, he has a pretty high catch position. So probably he was uh, having in the tank here more three, four kilograms more. Who knows? Very good bottom position here. Lockout, it's uh, very good. I like his uh, shoulder position, his head. It's in a good position as well. Chin down, eyes in front, that is very good. Elbows are looking good, nice and stable. He's uh, unbalanced here a bit with uh, this weight, 175 kilograms. It's uh, very hard to be perfect, but it's uh, managing very well this uh, bottom position. He's adjusting and after that on the recovery on the ascent, it's a pretty easy. We see here as well that on the right leg, it's more on tiptoes. So probably he has there some issues at his hamstring or hips. I don't know exactly because you need to test. If you are not testing, you are guessing how it's saying, but uh, definitely has uh, there something on his uh, right leg. Two steps in front and uh, it's uh, stabilizing very well this uh, 175 kilograms. Very nice lift. The video from Lu Xiaojun channel. Lu Xiaojun was uh, recently banned with uh, EPO, a substance that is used more for uh, sports that are requiring endurance. So if you want me to do like a talk about uh, what I think about that one, let me know here in the comment. So this was the video for today with Li Dain from China, still a very young athlete, 24 years. 
in the 2024, so next year at Olympics, we will see him in his uh, best shape if uh, he continue his uh, training like now and uh, it's not encountering, encountering any issues on the road. I'm sure that in 2024 he will be in his uh, best shape for Olympics. So this was the video with uh, Lida In. Don't forget to let me hear in the comments below if you have another preferred athlete that you want me to review his uh, technique and I will try to do it for you. And uh, if you want to support these videos, this uh, video analysis and uh, all my work that I have in here on the YouTube, don't forget to like and share this video on your social media to reach out more athletes and uh, hopefully this channel to grow more. Because I saw on the analytics that uh, a lot of people are watching the videos, but uh, more than 50% of them are not uh, even subscribed here. So it, it will help a ton if you can subscribe to the channel and hit also the notification bell. If you want to see more videos like this, I will let you here on the screen my uh, playlist with uh, all video analysis that I did. I have there more than 40 weightlifters.